Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you guys are doing good this afternoon and uh, thanks for tuning in the channel again. And hey, I just wanted to take a little bit of time today, um, just a quick video here. I wanna talk about sunglasses a little bit because you know, out of all the stuff we talk about in fishing, you know, lures, rods and reels, electronics, boats, that type of stuff. One of the biggest things that get bypassed or people don't talk about is sunglasses as far as being a really important tool to catch more bass. And um, <clears throat> I just wanted to talk about that a little bit, go over it. And also I wanted to uh, answer a few questions from the, the comments I've been getting because I get a lot of comments when I do these videos on the glasses that I wear. So before we get started into this, I just wanted to get a little, this is just a, uh, I don't get many plugs guys, but this is a little plug here. These are the Solar Bat Randy Blockett uh, Signature Series uh, by Solar Bat here. And uh, these, like I said, were uh, myself and Dr. Gary Nesty, who owns Solar Bat Glasses, helped de develop these. Um, Solar Bat has a whole line of, of uh, Pro uh, Signature Series glasses, and I was fortunate enough to be able to to work with uh, uh, Gary Nesty to design these. These are awesome. Like I said, they got a great stationary nose piece, keeps your uh, glasses on your head don't blow off. They wrap around your eyes, keeps all that wind out of your eyes. Uh, they got vents on the front there to keep them from uh, fogging up real good. And they just fit really nice on your on your uh, face, you know, really good. So if you guys are interested in these, uh, just go to the Solar Bat Sunglasses website. I'm gonna include the link in the description here. And under all products, just go to Randy Blockett Signature Series if you guys would like to order some of these. Um, because I've had several people, uh, you know, every week ask me where they can get them. So anyway, little little plug there. So <clears throat> let's get back to sunglasses a little bit. For me, their sunglasses are two applications for them. The most, and, and they're both equally important in their own right. But for me, the most important part of wearing a good pair of polarized sunglasses is, um, sorry about the noise over there, they're building a new elementary school down the road here and these dump trucks are going back and forth all the time. But um, one of the most important part of it is the safety aspect. Last year I was fishing, um, it was, uh, God, where was it at? It was a uh, second term, the, oh yeah, down at the uh, Arkansas River for the Bassmaster Open. And I had a, I was, I was pitching and flipping a, a Z-Hog on a half ounce weight and I got it hung up on the bank <clears throat> and I'm pulling on it. And I was, I pulled on it real hard. I didn't think it was gonna come off cause it was right off the bat. And it all of a sudden that thing shot back at me like a bullet and hit me right here in the right side of these Solar Bat Signature Series that I'm wearing and saved my eye. If I didn't have these glasses on, that I have no doubt in my mind that, that thing, it was like a bullet put my, would have put my eye out. Didn't do anything to the lens, it just rico ricocheted off of it. So guys, I'm telling you right now, if you're one of those anglers out there that fish uh, without wearing sunglasses, even in a low light condition, stop it. Because I'm telling you, fishing can be dangerous. I've had several close calls. I've had a, a, a slip sinker hit me <clears throat> right in the forehead before. I've had him hit me in the face. And that's being aware of the fact that I'm, I'm trying not to pull him straight towards me, but that, that stuff just happens in fishing. So do yourself a favor, and I don't care if it's raining or if it's right off the bat in the morning, uh, you know, use, get some good sunglasses. <clears throat> the key to doing that is picking the right lenses. I mean, there's a lot of different lenses available, uh, you know, with sunglasses. Like I said, Solar Bat has a wide array. Uh, Gary Nesty, the guy that owns Solar Bat, the, the uh, person that owns Solar Bat, He's not only an optometrist, but he's a bass fisherman too. So he understands frames, he understands lenses, all this type of stuff. If you're fishing during low light conditions, get you a pair of the high contrast yellow lenses on there because this will actually brighten up the morning. You can put them on like at six o'clock in the morning if it's barely light out and you can still see well. When you're running down the lake, it keeps the bugs from hitting you in the eye. It keeps the wind off of your face, off of your eyes, which is important. And more importantly, when you get to your fishing location, you know, it protects you from, you know, lures and baits flying through the water and that type of stuff. The key is, like I said, is, is choosing the correct lens color. This is another thing I want to talk about, the second element, as far as it being an overlooked tool in fishing, and that is being able to decipher and see what is underneath the water in front of you. And a lot of this has to do with the lens color that you use, the type of lens that you use. 
Um, different lenses work differently as far as in different light intensities, different water clarities, and you want to experiment. You want to have three different type of lenses. You you know you want to have a lens that allows you to see in the water you know clearly during low light conditions. You want to have a lens that allows you to see you know like in uh, you know the marginal conditions like part of cloudy type conditions, and then you want those darker lenses that allow you to see in the super bright where it's just that blinding sun type of uh, condition out there. So ide ideally, everybody should have three different lens colors. So anyway, just a quick video here, guys. I, you know, just asking if you guys are interested in this, go to the solarbat.com website. Again, I've included it in the description. Uh, Dr. Nesty, he's, he's lined out everything in there about the, the glasses, how they're built, you know, the functionality of them, the different options as far as frame options and lens colors and that type of stuff that will match whatever fishing condition you may uh, encounter out there. So anyway, don't take sunglasses for, uh, you know, granted. I mean, like I said, super important piece of equipment when you're breaking down shallow cover. Um, a lot of times it makes the difference between you catching a bass and not if you can see that particular object that's just under the water. It doesn't matter if you're sight fishing for bass or if you're just target fishing. I don't know how many times that I've caught good fish where I was going down a bank and I just caught the glimpse of just a d little bit of dark spot or a dark shadow underneath the water that was like a stump or a rock that I would not have seen without the correct color of lens in there, pitched in there and caught a good fish. So uh, sunglasses, they're gonna add up to more bass for you. They're gonna add up to keeping your eyes in a lot better condition. And it will definitely, it, it can save your vision completely at times. So anyway, check them out, solarbat.com. Uh, appreciate you guys letting me plug something over here. You know, I don't do it very often, but this is one one situation where I'm going to. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing good and um, hope that answered a few questions and uh, we'll talk to y'all later. See you.